What is a Friday without trending stories on social media? Welcome to your TGIF dose of NC Trends. I am Shion Bankoli. Now, it's a good day to say Africa to the world, as the online community have been talking non-stop about Nigerian-born military personnel, Amanda Azubuike, who was recently promoted to the Brigadier General rank by the United States Army. The United States Army Commanding General Major General Antonio V. Munera on Thursday posted photos to announce Azubuike's promotion. Now, according to her LinkedIn profile, Amanda holds 15 years of experience in communications with over 30 years of military leadership. Now, let's join Nigerians to celebrate our very own. This one says, our people are winning in other countries because our leaders fail to give us opportunity to win here. Congratulations to her. And Princess says, congratulations, Niger to the world. Thanks for doing us proud. They think it's only fraud with Sabi, but congratulations once again, Amanda. And Bero says, she deserves She's deservedly proud of the 1.2 million women and men of the U.S. Army. Only about 300 make it to the General Officer Kader, to which she has now been promoted. Dreams really come true. Congratulations. Now, in a video making the rounds online, the APC presidential candidate, Bola Metinobu, declared that mentioning the name of the Lagos State PDP deputy governorship candidate, Honke Akindele, in his presence is an insult. Tinubu said this when he met supporters at the Lagos APC Secretariat on Wednesday. The supporters in the song had compared Funke Akindele to an ant in the presence of Tinubu. And addressing the Guardian in Yoruba, he said, Don't even behave as if you remember that name. It is a big insult. It is an abuse to me. Now, this video has elicited lots of reactions on social media. Some of them include this one from Rastafari. On Funke Akindele, why would anyone even disrespect a woman who through grit, grind and acumen has succeeded exceptionally as an entrepreneur? As far as we know, she's a person of greater significance than even Jagaban because her wealth is not ill-gotten. Wow. And then this comment says, Tinubu is not a leader. He is a godfather that produces leaders. A man with so much power cannot make a good leader. Leadership needs humbleness, humility, which it does not have. Know the difference today. And this comment from Shia Guama Umi says, if young people like this can support such irresponsible talk from a supposed father who has been arrogating the credit of lifting young ones to himself, I am afraid. Which time do you think your time will come in this country? No doubt, Funke has made mark in her chosen career. Now, it's been back-to-back -back praises for the former president of Nigeria, Olusha Gwaba Sanjo, after he brokered a peace deal between Ethiopia and Tigray. The surprise diplomatic breakthrough comes two years into a war that has killed thousands, displaced millions, and left hundreds of thousands facing famine and hunger. Just over a week after formal peace talks by the African Union mediation team led by Obasanjo, delegates from both sides signed an agreement on a permanentization of hostilities. And here is what people are saying about this online. David Adem Ryoko says, Chief Olusha Ambassador continues to cement his name as a true Pan-African leader. Ethiopians and the rest of Africa will never forget his role in ending the war that lasted for two years. A giant of Africa. And Daniel Obedient says, you should go to sleep tonight knowing that President Obasanjo has effectively ended the Ethiopian Tigray War, which claimed over 600,000 lives. Tomorrow, we'll discuss how Nigeria moved from Obasanjo to Buhari. Another conversation. And Senator Sheo Sani says, the African Union sponsored Ethiopian Tigray peace talks brokered by former presidents Obasanjo and Kayanta in South Africa is commendable. This agreement should directly lead to an end to the siege and bloodshed. This shows that Africa can solve its problems. And it's a wrap for tonight on NC Trends. I am Sheo Bankali. Have a fabulous weekend.